Hey everyone, it's Brooke here from Anita Good Design. Welcome back to another video with us. Today I will be showing you how to piece together your animal hooded towels. Now there are a variety of animals that come along with these designs. You can use a regular standard towel from any store or you can use a terry cloth yardage fabric and that is exactly what we will be using today. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our bunny um, hooded towel. Now this one is already pre put together so I'm just going to show you how to assemble your towel. So here we have our bunny version of our animal hooded towels. We've went ahead and pieced together the head portion for this design. I am going to be showing you how to piece together your entire towel. Now we are using the yardage from a terry cloth roll. Um, this will be cut to the dimensions of whoever you are making that for, whether it is for a child or it is for yourself. Now, as you can see, the terry cloth yardage comes with a salvage edge. We will be using this as our fancy end for our towel, so there's no need to hem that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my towel here so you can see that we are using the unfinished edge for this project. Now, what you need to do is fold your towel in half and we're going to mark the center point. So as you can see here, this would be considered my center point. I'm gonna go ahead and put a small notch in that with a pair of scissors. Now I'm going to repeat the same process with my bunny. This will just ensure that our towel head is in the center of our towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold our bunny in half. And using a pair of scissors again, I am just going to do a small trim just so I know where the halfway point is. You can use your scissors or you can use pins, whichever you prefer to find that center point. Now using the notches that we just created on our towel and our bunny hood, we're gonna go ahead and line those up and pin our hood in place. Now, as you can see here, we have a wrong and a right side of our towel. So here you can see we have a finished edge and on the other side, you will see that we have a green thread. Now I use this to indicate the wrong side and the right side of our towel. So as we move forward, I'm gonna pull this one back. We will be attaching the bunny hood to the right side of the towel, which means we're gonna flip this edge up and we're going to align those notches that we just created. Now when pinning your bunny hood in place, you wanna make sure that you are not pinning the opening. So you wanna make sure that's kind of pulled back. Feel free to pin this if desired, but we're gonna go ahead and pin along the edge. And now that we have our bunny hood all pinned in place, we're gonna head over to the sewing machine and we are going to straight stitch at a fourth of an inch. Now to finish off our animal hooded towel, we will be creating a French seam. So this means we want a clean finish on the outside of our design and the inside of our design. So as you can see, I have my bunny hood facing the right side of my towel. Now in order to create that French seam, we're gonna go ahead and flip our hood over. And we're going to pinch the seam that we just created. This will ensure that the inside of our towel has a clean finish and the outside has a clean finish. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this in place. Now the French seam technique is great as it saves you more time. You will not have to use scissors to cut your towel. As you create this French seam, the towel will then curl, creating a double fold. So we are able to combine two steps in one by creating a finished edge and a French seam. Now we will complete our French seam and have a finished edge for our towel. So as you can see here, we have a nice clean finish inside the hood, and we also have a nice finish on the back. Now our bunny hood is just one of the few designs that we have to offer for our animal hooded towels collection. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that this makes the process much more fun and simple for you along the way. Don't forget to comment down below who you plan on making your animal hooded towel for. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified every time we post. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with me. Happy sewing.